I must say it's a tremendous uh, relief to be back amongst uh, our customers and our associates at, at, uh, at this trade show. Um, it's, it's been a long time coming uh, to have the chance to come together again. Um, this year, like many people, we're uh, maybe a little bit trimmed down on what we might have been proposing. Uh, so we've got a slightly smaller booth than normal, but nevertheless we're presenting across all the domains where we're active, chiefly the maritime, the marine domain, the naval domain, but also the land domain. Um, and, uh, and we're also launching a new product or re releasing uh, news of a new product, a new IMU that we're, uh, that we're releasing here at DSCI. Well, so here this week we're, uh, we're, we're, we're displaying things across many domains, uh, all domains. Um, on the maritime side of life, we're, we're showing things in the, in the naval navigation domain, which is one of our strongest uh, areas of activity, and also in the marine autonomy domain, where we have some, some new innovations. So on the naval navigation side, which is essentially our strongest suit in this uh, defence domain, we, uh, we're showing the inertial navigation systems, such as this Marins here, but we're also presenting the NetAns data distribution systems, which are very widely used these days. Um, we're also showing the new uh, CPIX FLS systems, which have been uh, uh, a strong success already, um, as well as our Wectis uh, navigation software. So the Marins M9 we see here is, is a very similar model to the Marins M7, which is being installed across the Royal Navy's surface fleet. Um, and including the Type 23 frigate HMS Argyle, which is at the show this week. Other models in the range, the Marins uh, range, are, are installed aboard the astute class submarines of the Royal Navy and the QEC carriers. The other area of interest for us in the maritime side is on the maritime, on the marine autonomy side. Um, and obviously, people are quite familiar now with, with DRIX the small USV that we've been presenting a number of times at defense shows previously and is finding a, a really strong position in, in uh, the commercial and academic markets worldwide. And we bring uh, really a, um, a set of options and opportunities into the naval business with both um, the DRIX itself, but also um, developments from that program, including the obstacle avoidance functionality um, and also um, bigger platforms which are coming in the not too distant future. Alongside the maritime um, presentation that we're making here today, we, we are also uh, presenting our land INS systems, which are a, a very strong and fast growing line of business for Xblue. Um, we have two models in the range here, the Advance Vega and the Advance Ursa which are becoming increasingly deployed on, on uh, armoured armored, armored vehicles, reconnaissance vehicles in Optronic and other payloads, as well as UGVs. Um, so we're presenting those here this week with uh, really strong interest. Well, to round off the, uh, the presentation of what we're doing here this week, um, alongside the naval presentation, the land defence presentation, we're also presenting a new range of inertial measurement units called UMIX series, IMUs. Uh, and this, this device here is, it represents the first time that Xblue has, has presented uh, an inertial measurement unit. We're typically known for the high-end inertial navigation systems. Um, but here we are miniaturizing many, many years of expertise in, in IMU and gyro and accelerometer production into what is we believe uh, certainly one of the highest performing IMUs available in such a small uh, package.